All right, there you have it. You have a calculator that works for vertical spreads, diagonal spreads, and calendar spreads. Three in one. Yeah, that's right. I'm the man. What's good, fam? It's your other brother, Adam Get Bags. We got a subscriber request today. It's the last one in the series, Get Diagonal Spread Pricing. All right, so you've seen the vertical spreads, you've seen the calendar spreads. Now combine the two and you can get a diagonal spread. So it's a two leg option strategy where you're long one contract, short the other contract, but they're not in the same expiration cycles and they're also not at the same strike price either. So the verticals were in the same expiration cycle and the calendar spreads were not in the same expiration cycle, but they were at the same strike price. So it's like combining calendar spreads and vertical spreads. So it's your diagonal spread. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy our code from our get calendar spread and we're going to move it over here. We're going to change the name around and then we're going to add a long strike and a short strike to the function variables and also for inputs and then we're just going to again take it out of the function so that when we're building it we can just audit everything make sure everything looks nice so let's go ahead change the function variables and make sure the inputs are lined up so we can get to coding okay now that we've changed our function parameters and we've updated our inputs we're going to do like a long put diagonal so we're going to buy the back month at a higher strike price so it's going to be a debit and we're going to sell the shorter um, the front month the shorter expiration cycle at a lower strike price so it's going to be a net debit for this one so it'll be like a long diagonal spread with one month in between and then a dollar in between the strike prices so we're going to take it out of the try block and then we're going to indent everything move it all over and then so let's take the try block out and then let's um, unindent everything, get rid of all the return statements, and then we will make just a couple changes. It's very similar to the other one. Okay, great. We're looking pretty good. What we want to do is when we're going to trim our data, we want to just tell it go to the specific strike for the long expiration cycle, go to the long strike price for the short expiration cycle, go to the short strike price. All right, so that was easy. We're gonna trim our data down, that looks good. We're gonna reset the index here, that all looks good. And then we're gonna change all of our data types to numeric, that all looks good, nothing really to change there. And then of course we're gonna add our mid prices, that all looks good, I'm pretty happy about all that. Um, one thing we wanna add, since we're adding columns now, so we wanna go ahead and just add the expiration so that when we print the information, we kinda of know what we're working with there. So let's go ahead and add a print, or add the column called expiration, and then we'll list out the expiration under there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at how that came out. We have our print here, so let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so here we can see we have our long chain here. This is put diagonal spread. Um, so we can see that here's where we're going to be buying. This is going to be the February expiration. And then we have our 19 here. We're going to be selling here. So we're looking at a debit of about 120. So let's just go ahead and quickly calculate the spread price. I think this is going to be fairly straightforward here. We're just going to use the same because, you know, we're always buying on the ask and then selling on the bid there. Let's check that out. good by me I'm pretty happy with that so for our print output um, since it's not as black and white which ones are gonna be you know long spreads and short spreads because you have a variety of different expiration cycles and then strike prices we're just gonna say if the spread price is greater than zero then it's a long spread and if it's a call type then it's gonna be a long diagonal long call diagonal so if that spread price is above zero be a long spread so let's just go ahead and implement that and then that should wrap everything up and we'll test it out all right so all of the output looks pretty good i'm definitely happy with that what we're going to go ahead and do is just re-indent everything and then we're going to 
put our try block in place and then we're going to add the function as well and then we're going to test out some different variations just make sure everything's working smoothly the way that this is set up um, with this here is you can actually use this probably as a calendar spread and a vertical spread calculator um, just as long as uh, as long as you know your short uh, and long expirations aren't the same and your short strike and long strike are the same so let's go ahead and put everything together all right there you have it you have a calculator that works for vertical spreads diagonal spreads and calendar spreads three in one yeah that's right i'm the man all right so anyways fam you have my permission to go ahead and get bags be mindful of your inputs and be sure to check your expiration cycles to make sure that the strike is there um, so if you're going to actually deploy something like this you'd want to have some checks in there but basically everything here is good to go so let's go fam let's go ahead and get these bags